So to open a new session from scratch, you would go down to the bottom left and select New Project. And we are going to save this in Traction, which is inside of our libraries. And I'm going to call this session GearWire.com Rules, which it does. And then we're going to save. And we always create a new subdirectory. This means there's going to be a new folder. And inside of that folder are going to be a minimum of two things. Your EDL, which is your edit, list of edits, and your audio files. So we're going to create a new subdirectory. And now we have a new edit or a new edit decision list, but no audio files. So when we open up this edit, we're going to see an empty session, which is what we were looking for. Uh, first, we're going to talk about how to import a sound. So simply we go to import at the bottom left. We pull open an audio file. I happen to have um, the Apple Beats CD in the computer. And I'm just going to pull open a country riff, because everyone loves country. And we are going to always make a local copy of the file. Uh, most software doesn't even ask you to do this. It's sort of obvious. You want to make a copy of whatever you're pulling in. Uh, inside of your new session folder which we just made so make a local copy it goes and does that and then <laughs> it gives us the tiny little loop here uh, very easy to go ahead and uh, duplicate this loop so I click on the loop I have all the information about the loop down here the start time the end time everything like that and I'm going to loop this clip 32 times. Oh, <laughs> I will select it first. Select the clip, loop this clip, go with 16 times. But at any rate, you can see how simple it is to just simply duplicate that throughout the session. So we'll go to the beginning of this uh, track, play it back so we can make sure that it's in the, in the system OK. And we have our drum loop. So next thing you'd want to do is overdub, lay something down on top of this drum loop. And uh, to do that, I will have to show you the very simplistic routing matrix, if you want to call it that, um, that this device uses. So you have two channel inputs on your Onyx device, and those inputs are these little floating icons. So you have one for input one and one for input two. I'm going to basically say to the computer, please connect input one to track two. Boop. And it is literally as simple as that. You just drag input one over to track two, and the arrow connects it. If the arrow were to be not present, you would know that input one is not going to be recorded on any track. So I move it over to track two. This arms track two. So there is no particular record button for arming the track. It just sort of automatically happens when you drag the input over to the track. Uh, and I have a guitar um, with the amp and a microphone in front. And I'm basically uh, connected to uh, the microphone input on track one, or on channel one, rather. And you can see my level here. So the level will show up down at the bottom uh, quite nicely. If you disconnect, you'll still get a level, but you won't be monitoring uh, your signal. So we connect it to track two. Then we're monitoring our signal. And easy peasy Japanesey, we just set it into uh, record. And when you hit record, it also plays for you. 